Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I did something completely different. It's called Practice Diary Vlog. I got inspired by Tiffany Poon's videos with the same title, and I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys what and how I played this week. So for those of you who do not play the piano, I thought it would be great fun to get introduced to some beautiful classical pieces as well as see how I practice my pieces. And for those of you who do play the piano, I think it will be even more fun because you get to see how I stumbled through my pieces and where my majority of energy and time got invested in. And without further ado, let's get into the short introductions of the three pieces that I practiced this week. In this video, you're gonna hear me practice three pieces. The first piece you're gonna hear me practice is by Moskovsky. It's from his etude collection, Opus 72. Different from your typical idea of what an etude is, this one is very sentimental and very emotionally charged, so it's very enjoyable to listen to. And it's also the closest to Chopin's etudes because they are very emotional and has lots of substance to it other than its technical difficulties. The second piece you're gonna hear me practice is by Liszt. It's his famous La Campanella. This piece is well known for its difficulty in the right hand, especially in those very fast and large jumps. As a performer, you have to be very clean and accurate about those jumps. So I spent lots of days working on just those jumps as well as in combination with other technical difficulties. So you're gonna have lots of fun just watching me practice those difficulty passages. If you're into very heroic and passionate pieces like Chopin's Revolutionary Etude, you're not gonna wanna miss out Rachmaninoff's musical moment. So that's the last piece that I practiced this week. So without further ado, let's dive in into the first uh, etude that I practiced this week, which is the Etude by Moskovsky. <laughs> double note melody on the right hand. So I was so drawn to this beautiful melody that I did not mind spending extra time just work on those notes to make it sound even and clean. So this is how I practice the first section of this piece very slow and very evenly. Here, I'm working on getting my fingers accustomed to those movements between the double notes while making the double notes sound clean. Um, and then comes the more difficult part, which is to play calm moto leggeretta, which means to play with much lightness. So that's um, that's more difficult because if you play anything lightly, your fingers naturally exert less force on each note. That translates to less control from each finger. So to play each double note cleanly and accurately at the same time, it really requires lots of practice. So this is me drilling the first sentence of the A section. I try to play really slowly but evenly. So my emphasis here is to connect each note so that it sounds really smoothly. So this is the first time I drill it. And then I try to speed up a little bit, but not as fast as indicated on the score. practice 
for uh, many times, and then I try to aim for the speed that's indicated on the score, which is Leggero Rezza, uh, to play it faster, also to play it more lightly as a feather touching the keys. So this is somehow how I achieve that. <laughs> I played quite a lot of wrong notes, but I did play faster, but not lightly enough. So I'll give it another try. One more time. Much better. The middle section is very broad and peaceful and very genuine in terms of the emotions it expresses and it's less technically demanding. However, it does require lots of work on phrasing so that you can hear the ebb and flow within and between each sentence. rounds off my practice of Moskovsky's Etude Opus 72 number 13. For a complete recording of this piece, I'm gonna post it no later than next Sunday. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell beside it so you do not miss it. The second piece I practice is Liszt La Campanella. This one is perhaps the most well-known as well as the most difficult among the ones that I practiced. Uh, first, of course, was the constant large jumps and because I practiced the very first section when I was younger, so it took me less time to work on that part. But right after the first part, Liszt added ornaments on top of those constant large jumps, so it took me extra time just to work on that part. And this is how I practiced it. <music> Part. The difficulty in this section still revolves around large jumps, however this time other difficulties are thrown in for a good measure. For example, the rapid 30 second notes are to be played before the large jumps and this is how I practiced it. I practiced was Rachmaninoff's musical moment number four. I plan to make a separate video comparing this piece with Chopin's revolutionary etude. There are lots of similarities between these two pieces. For example, um, the heroic and passionate right hand melody both sings in these two pieces. Also, the difficulty in both of these two pieces lies in the left hand because they are very fast running and has its own rhythm to it. So that's why I want to do that video. So if you do not want to miss out on that comparison video, please subscribe to my channel and also turn on that notification bell beside the subscribe button. So back to our own piece, uh, musical moment number four. So it has the signature fast running left hand as well as a very heroic and melodramatic right hand melody. So this is how I practiced it.
has done a master class on this piece, and he mentioned that to play this piece well, you want to have your right hand sing out this deep, broad, and heroic melody against the turmoil, fast running left hand. So I try to practice this point, and I hope you can hear the emphasized right hand melody. rounds up what I practiced this week. If you liked today's video, please smash that like button. If we achieve 10 likes this week, I'll do a separate video only practicing repertoire that you guys wanted me to practice. So make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what other repertoire you'd like me to practice and make a progress video on. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any future episode of classical music related videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!